All right, so continuing on, we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, chrome fill in here. It's pretty much the same exact process as we did with this fill layer already. So we're gonna go ahead and add in another fill layer. And we need to, let's check out what we have in the metallic. So let's type in metal and we have some silver. I wonder what that looks like. That might do it. Wow, first pick. All right, cool. So let's again up our UV scale. So we have a little bit of breakup on the uh, maps there. Hmm. It's a little too, it's a bit small. So let's see if we can up this to about, I don't know, 250. Let's go on some extreme scales here. No. Okay, so let's just up it a little bit to about halfway through and we'll see if we can change out the attributes within the actual material properties. So we have our normal intensity and we can bring that down. If it alleviates some of it, nope. What about height position? Let's see what that is. Uh, yeah, I'm getting something here. There we go. So we're softening up the height range just a little bit. It's readable, but not that readable. Okay, and again, let's go ahead and add a black mask and we need to start selecting the shells that we want affected. So let's go to UV selection, color white, and we'll start filling in all the parts that we want to be with this chrome. So you notice I clicked on one of these boxes, these all got the same. If you stack your UV shells within uh, any external program, let's go to a uh, different channel here so we can see what's going on. Okay, so that's the height information, roughness, and metallic. It's a light gray, but we should find it. So wherever he had placed them, let's take a look here. Yeah, I think these, most of these were stacked, so they're going to end up all being applied at the same time. So, alright. Let's go back into our viewing spot, and let's just fill this stuff in really quick. Cool. Our top range up here. And... We'll do something special with these in a minute. So let's just fill these in and we're going to give a, I guess, a rubber for like the center part of that. And I know these are chrome. I know in his uh, concept art there was a lot of chrome on this vehicle. A lot of those vehicles for the uh, type of feel that we're going for had a lot of this design in it. So... And I think I'm going to get that to be a chrome as well. Yep, that'll work. I didn't know if it was going to actually split it up, but it did. All right. So, got the manifold exhaust things. It goes chrome. And this is a solid color fill. We'll probably put a rubber behind that to darken it up a bit. All right. That's already looking pretty good right now. Again, our uh, fill layer kind of overdrew on that so we'll need to go into our black color and let's go to a top down view like we did before with our uh, exhaust pipes let's separate those out so within our face selection separate those out up here Right. All right. So, our exhaust pipes are separated. Let's find the little divots. There they are, or whatever they're called, or um, jewelry. I can't remember what the correct word is in terms of a uh, vehicle accessories that you put on. So, in this, we'll do another. We'll exclude these out. So, with a black mask, let's the center and we're going to exclude those from the paint because we never filled them in they're going to be a flat white anyways and 
Okay, so that'll be a rubber as well. So I'm gonna do another layer, but I'm not gonna do a fill layer. Uh, and I'm going to do, however, is probably oh one more thing I almost missed too in the the uh, chrome was this so let's put the white back on and let's select center parts of this oops now I know I want those edges I don't want those since I know they're parts of the divots of the vehicle now you can do a marquee selection or you can select these singles at a time. I think that's about it. Let's take a look and make sure my eyes weren't deceiving me in that view. Now if you're trying to see past the lines and they're kind of in the way, you can always take down the wireframe opacity just by bringing that down. And that looks pretty good. You could probably give it like a rubber fill. For that and I was wrong so I accidentally did fill those in so we'll go back to black here and we'll just select those faces now again if the normals are a little too rough then we can always bring those down or we can just turn them off completely so I know exactly what I'm going to select when I go back to this yeah those normals are pretty rough so let's go into here and let's just disable our height map right now Turn up the opacity on the lines for the wires so I can see what's going on. And we're at 2048, so it's going to be a little fuzzy. Okay. Looking pretty good now. So, our next fill is we're going to need to get some rubber parts going in so we can break up some of this chrome a little bit. Let's do one more fill there call this one the uh, chrome and this will be our rubber let's add a black mask back in the actual material though I'm going to look for something with rubber and we have a uniform rubber so within our selection let's go to white and let's select our UV shell select that backing that's back there to cover that up Let's go into the backing of these again. I can't really select it through here. I could try to, but I'd rather do it through the top down. Actual UV view would be a lot easier. If you accidentally rotate this, um, I think it's, yeah, if you hold down Alt and you click, you'll rotate the actual like UV map. If you don't want to do that and you want it to go back, just hold down, hold down uh, Alt and Shift and you can snap it back to where you want it to go. It's just like Photoshop where you can snap on rotation. So let's take those faces and we're going to fill those in with the rubber material. Oh, and I got the other one too. Cool. At least I think it did. Yeah, it did. All right. <clears throat> so next we need. Ah, we got those. And center point of that thing. I'll zoom way in here so I can see what I'm selecting exactly. All right. It's looking pretty good now. Getting there. All right, let's take a look at the actual model. And let's turn off. Yeah, let's turn off our selection for now. So we can do that by going into clicking the brush or we can hit or however you want to set up your hotkeys. And this is what it's looking like right now. It's not too shabby. It's definitely going to be a trip to try to get this turned into a cab. Oh, forgot those parts too. So one more selection for that. Let's select some random rings here so I can find it better. Nope. Ah, there they are. I knew they were small somewhere. Okay. Now the rubber fill is done. Let's go and make a new layer. 
and again like you see i made a new layer it didn't fill anything in because this is just like a, a standard layer now you can start painting and mixing and matching and doing certain specific things and i'm going to do this for the actual headlights so you're sitting at about 10 minutes uh, I'll go ahead and I'll stop the video and when we come back we'll get the headlights in and we'll start to roughen up a little bit we'll start to break up some of the uh, edges of this piping here and give this car a little bit more character but we're gonna keep it a very we're gonna keep it as clean as we possibly can for uh, substance designer pass when we go into that for another set of videos so 